There are approximately between 16 and 17,000 people on the waiting list for liver transplants um, in the United States. And the number of deceased donors has been relatively stable between six and 7,000 um, every year for the last uh, five or six years. Um, there, there are several ways that we hope uh, to change that. And I, the way I, I view it, I think that um, eventually no one should die uh, waiting for a liver. Um, we can do uh, really increased, li increased uh, donor registration um, and increased access to transplantation by having more deceased donors and by decreasing the consequences of donation for people who want to donate as a live person, as a living donor. Um, when we do that, I think more people will feel comfortable stepping forward and offering to their people that they care about to donate their organ or part of their organ in the case of a liver. Um, that will have the impact of really making sure that for liver transplantation, um, no one dies because they have no access to a liver. The early uh, results are very encouraging in fully laparoscopic uh, donation. And um, it's leading uh, our team to be very excited about the benefits for donors. Um, so far, donors have almost been surprised at how uh, well they've been recovering. We, we anticipate that we'll be able to offer this to adult-to-adult -to -adult liver transplantation for almost all cases, um, or at least 75% of cases, within the next year. And we hope that with that, um, we might see dramatic changes in the success rate of liver transplantation, because living donors um, have a long history of doing uh, extremely well, um, both nationally and particularly here at New York Presbyterian Hospital.